a symbol of modernity that holds an ancient secret. The mighty Nagarjuna Sagar Dam, one of the most ambitious projects of the newly independent India, transformed the region. But under the sparkling blue waters of this grand reservoir is a whole city known as Vijayapuri. The best way to catch a glimpse of it and get transported to 1500 years ago is a short ferry ride away on the island of Nagarjuna Konda in the middle of the lake. This island would have once been part of a hill in the old city of Vijayapuri, which was the capital of the Ishwaku kingdom of Andhra Pradesh in the 3rd and 4th century CE. The kingdom was carved out from the collapsing Satvahana empire. The Ishwakus controlled large parts of Guntur, Krishna and Nalgonda regions of the present-day Andhra Pradesh and Telangana between the early 3rd to 4th century CE. The museum on this island tells the story of the Ishwakus and Vijayapuri. And behind it, you will find some amazing ruins in what is a meticulously reconstructed site. This is a site of the Ashwamedha Kund that Ishwakus might have constructed after their Ashwamedha Yagna. The dynasty was interesting because while they were Hindus, the women within the families seemed to have been great patrons of Buddhism. This is the site of the Grand Stupa on the island of Nagarjuna Konda and this statue of Buddha is the most iconic symbol of the place. This site is a testimony to the fact that the Ishwakus were secular. Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism thrived here together. They also had great skills in city planning. This wall, for instance, is part of the original that once stood here. You can also find a citadel, wells and exquisite statues here. Going to Nagarjuna Konda is like stepping into a time machine and as we make our journey back through the vast reservoir, it is hard not to be transported to another time, another era.